Hello, I'm Martin Clunes and this is me out with my Clydesdale horses, Ronnie and Bruce. I love working horses. So I was sad to hear that a group of shires had arrived at Horseworld in Bristol, rescued from neglect. They look very sorry for themselves, but they've come to the right place. We took three of them in, two of them in, in very poor condition. Um, the two-year-old and the, the old mare were very, very thin. They had really overgrown feet. They were, probably wouldn't have survived the winter, to be honest, especially the old mare, because she's got very, very warm front teeth. Horse World is a place of safety and has been for over 65 years. A skilled team of grooms of the vets at Horse World will monitor for disease and check those all-important feet. Pass. With your help, the horses will get the support they need to become healthy, happy animals again. There it is. So that can get poulticed. One of the group is a five-year-old mare Horseworld have named Dime. This is her story. Dime is young enough to recover from her early experiences. When she first came, she was actually one of the slightly better ones out of the group. She was underweight, but she wasn't as underweight as some of the other horses. Apart from that, she had very, very overgrown feet. They were very poor. She also had thrush in her feet, which is where their feet don't get picked out enough and they get very smelly and very gunky. It's an infection, basically, in her foot. <laughs> she's obviously very well bred, so we think she's probably done something in the past in her young life already. And hopefully it means that she'll be able to go on and do something in the future as well and clues to her future lie in the past. Over a million horses and mules served in the First World War. Right up to the 1940s, working horses were a part of everyday life, pulling carts, transporting people, and serving the farmer by working on the land to produce food. Could Dime have a new life as a working horse like her ancestors? The challenge is, she's never worn a bridle and never been in harness. And because Dime is a Shire horse, she needs some specialist training. First steps mean a visit to Jonathan Waterer's farm in North Devon. He shows Shire horses and works with them on his land. Well, the first thing we would do is take her off the lorry, tie her in our tie stalls, and just let her settle, give her a bit of food. And then maybe an hour or two later, I'd actually put the harness on, the actual harness that she's gonna have on to do her work and put her a bridle on with a bit in her mouth because uh, she's never had a bit in her mouth. Uh, she had none of that done. So that would be the first thing we'd do. And then I'd probably leave her for a, a, you know, an hour or so and just settle and chew on the bit and then put the, um, the reins on and then I usually take them out into our yard at the back and uh, start long reining her and I, I just let the horse go where it wants to start with just tweak it up and keep it moving as best I can and then when I come up to a wall I might teach it to stop by saying whoa and there's a wall to help you and in 10 minutes usually they're starting to respond. To me the horses have to be beautifully behaved uh, just like a police horse, if you tell them to stand, they've got to stop and stand, not move around. I think, you know, Dime's a very sweet-tempered mare. She's very nice-natured. In, in a couple of weeks, I think she'll be going very well. And it's just as important to train humans to work with Dime, too. Vicky and Jodie have travelled to Devon from Horseworld. I was a bit open-minded to the train in the last couple of days because I've got a lot of experience in riding and the handling side, but driving is completely new to me. So I was a little bit apprehensive about what I was going to be involving, um, especially with a young horse who hasn't done it herself. To me, I'd be a lot more confident sat on their back and whatever they do, it's fine. So being actually sort of a few feet behind, just being able to use your hands and your voice, uh, everything that is natural to me is taken out of the equation. But Jonathan's been fantastic and... Dime has taken to it like a duck to water. Is like she was just meant to do it, and she's just fallen straight in like she's done it every day. And the progression that she's made is brilliant. So I've enjoyed every minute of it, and I've really learned quite a lot. 
A donation will enable Horseworld to continue her training and ensure her needs are met. Dimes made a good start. There's just one thing missing, her own harness. She needs it if she's going to learn to pull a carriage. And then what I always do is just check the um, girth again. Now. Today she's taking her first tentative steps to doing just that. Your support will make all the difference to Dime and her companions at Horseworld. It might even pay for her own carriage. I think Dime has come on in leaps and bounds and she is genuinely happy when she's driving her, you know, her ears are pricked up she's very happy we've, we've sat on that carriage chatting away not even thinking that we've got a horse here that a couple of weeks ago uh, had never been hitched up or even had a bit in its mouth so you know I'm, I'm very pleased all the way around yes definitely I think Dime proves that Animals from a rescue background can be so forgiving and so kind and willing and when you build up that bond with them and you have that relationship they can be absolutely fantastic horses. Just as Dime has come from this background and she's now going into driving which we, I never would have imagined on that day that we picked her up. So I think it really does prove that there is a good future out there for so many rescue horses and ponies which unfortunately are sometimes overlooked. Help turn what was a bleak future into a positive one for Dime and the other horses like her. Be a part of her journey to a happy and a purposeful life. There is an endless tide, they'll keep coming, they'll never stop. Um, but we look at the individual horses that we work with when they're in the charity. We see horses on a daily basis, you know, we're, we're their help, um, so they, they've got no one else to be able to help them um, and that's what we do and that's what keeps you going once you've got them out of the situation they're in um, that the the rescue that the place that we've got them from you then see them getting stronger getting friendlier with people getting happier to be around us and you see them go from where you've rescued them from and then eventually what we try to do is rehome them you see them from that rescue going out into a home with a loving family that care for them for the rest of their lives that's what makes the job worthwhile <laughs>